Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily. This is my channel, The Candle Nurse. And today I have another candle collection. This is my Yankee candle collection. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. You guys know I love my home fragrance and candles and I have several different brands and um, I'm on a journey to windle that down just a little bit and be a part of a community that is on YouTube that loves home fragrance like I do. Also, you know, wants to take part in a community that wants to have, you know, real discussions about life. I'm a mother to three kids. I have a husband that I've been married to for 17 years. Life is busy, but there is just one thing that I'm very passionate about, and that is home fragrance. You know, my family said, why not just start a, a channel to talk about? There's a whole candle community. Sorry to make this introduction so long. I want to make this kind of a quicker video because I have a tendency to ramble and my videos are long and I don't really like editing too much. Without further ado, let's get into it. This is my Yankee Candle Company collection. If you do notice, I have several of one scent in a couple different style of jars. And so we'll go through that. I, I don't have a lot of Yankee Candle. Yankee Candle is actually the first candle that I bought as an adult when my husband and I moved into our second home and we had all three of our children. My youngest was, I just had him, he was a baby. We went to the mall near here and there was a Yankee Candle Company and I'd never heard of, can you know, my mom never burned candles. A lot of people didn't, you know, I just, I didn't know anything about it, but I could smell just like amazing scent coming from the store and it was a bigger store at the time. Now they've since kind of gotten down to a smaller size store. I think a lot of their um, customer bases online now but anyway I walked in and it was heaven there just was like it was all color coordinated um, at the time I, I don't know if they had the signature jars yeah they did they had a signature jar which are the jars on the bottom in the middle and apothecary jar that is on the top row is like what they were known for and they used to carry the apothecary jar in this style it was the large jar they had a small jar or medium jar in that as well it's single wick the new signature jars on the bottom are double wicked. The uh, large jars on the top row are 100% paraffin and the signature jars in down in the middle and off to the left, the Woodwick brand, those are a soy blend. The thing was, is I had like a handful, maybe five candles from them and then they sat in a closet and I never burned them. It wasn't until like going into COVID, like when I started nursing school in 2019 that I started really getting into candles because I noticed that when I was studying, it really helped calm me down. It kind of set that mood and I love the fragrances of candles. And so, you know, in 2019, when I went back to nursing school was really when I started really like burning candles. My mother-in-law, Juanita, she's incredible. She was living with us at the time and she really is the one who introduced me to to candle burning anyway so that that's kind of like a little history backstory so the fragrances that I have now are ones that I've gotten this year on sale you'll notice that there's several I think there's six of the large jars apothecary jars on the top that's of cranberry chutney and we'll go through that so a lot of those jars I got at Walmart they were on like a clearance and they smell strong and it's one of my favorite scents from Yankee and so I just bought them out <laughs> of what they had posted because it's hard. Yankee, you know, it's a scent that a lot of people like and it's not available all the time. And I couldn't find it this year and it was available at Walmart recently. And so I didn't get to burn it for, you know, the fall season or the winter season. And so I have it now. I'm not a seasonal burner, so I will, I've been waiting to light one of those uh, bad boys up until I did my collection video. So I'm so happy to be getting this done. Anyway, so let's go through. The other thing you'll see is Woodwick. I wanna know why more people don't talk about Woodwick. I don't know if it's from the price standpoint. I love Woodwick candles, you guys. There's the ellipsis style, which is the bottom left, that they have like a very long wick across. I call it the boat. <laughs> this is a boat candle. But it crackles like a fireplace the whole time it's burning. And so I was actually one of the first candles in 2019 that I bought because of the sound of the crackles was really soothing and calming and just kind of helped me relax and focus. And then it also helps like when you're watching a movie, you just turn it on, you know, during the winter and cuddle up in a blanket next to my husband and have like a wood, you can just hear the crackles. It's like you have a fireplace going. And we're in Arizona, so that's like the closest I get to a fireplace in my house because it's so darn hot here. 
But anyway, so I, I just love Woodwick. I, they, they are strong candles. I'm not really sure why I don't see a lot of reviews on YouTube, but I, I'll talk about them. Um, there's some scents that went away for the holiday that I wish I would have gotten. That spiced blackberry is like probably my favorite. Elderberry bourbon is another really good one. Um, their Christmas Fraser fir, we'll go, we'll get into it. The, that's like a, a quintessential Christmas candle that I like to get one a year. So anyway, um, without further ado, let's let's get started. This first one I have is Merry Marshmallow. It was a Christmas scent. And I got this on clearance at Yankee Candle. And it is literally just a marshmallow scent. The sad part is sometimes these single wicks, they're not that strong, except for the cranberry chutney. So um, I will burn it in my bedroom as a lot of times where I put these large jars just because it takes a while. I'm not looking to switch up scents a lot in my room. I do outside in the regular family rooms and in the rest of my house, we like to change things up. So with this one, I'll burn it in my room. Next up we have the, the cranberry chutneys and there's six of them. Again, I already kind of told you the history about that one and where I got them at Walmart on sale. They were literally clearance for like $6.99, so I bought them all out. It was a good deal, and now I have some for this year and possibly the next year or two to have for the holidays or whenever I feel like burning a cranberry scent. Okay, next to that, I have Movie Night Cocoa. You guys, that one smells so good. I can't even describe to you what it's like because it's not quite, it kind of reminds me of a marshmallow fireside, but in a sweeter way and it's not cloying. I haven't burned it yet, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that one does when it's burning. And I have one down in the two wick jars that I'm going to be burning out in the kitchen and hopefully that one throws a little bit better. I have two different pineapple scents. I got them on clearance at Yankee for, I think it was $15 jars or something. One's called Williamsburg Pineapple and the other one is Warm Pineapple Upside Down Cake. Now on cold, these guys smell the same to me. They're very strong. On cold, just like cranberry chutney, this candle is a seven or an eight on cold. So I really am excited to burn it. I do say that the Warm Pineapple Upside Down Cake does have a brown sugar note to it that I think might show its face once I'm burning and the Williamsburg Pineapple is just the quintessential pineapple scent. It doesn't smell artificial, it smells yummy and delicious. So anyway, those are the large jars up there. Okay, starting off on the right, I have another cotton candy. That is my backup. I In my empties video, if you saw that, I talked about the one I had that was burning beautifully and I got scared that the wick was gonna start sooting, which it's a candle, it's gonna soot, and I trimmed it and it seemed like it was fine. And then on the next burn, it just got really puny. It was actually really short. And so I just realized that they, you know, the Yankee candle, these large single wicks really rely on that. That wick is really hot and it, it's needed to be longer. And if I start having any sooting issues, I'll just stop burning it and put it into my crock and enjoy it that way. Okay, next we have the vanilla cupcake. And that one is just a standard vanilla scent. I won't say that it's my favorite. I love Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean. This one's more of an artificial vanilla, but it's a good one because it lasts a long time and it'll be a good one to mix with other fragrances. I like to have different vanillas that I add to other fragrances. Like I burn it next to it to add, to, if it's like a floral, it kind of cuts that floral note down and adds a little bit of sweetness, but it's not overpowering sweet and it's not cloying, so. And then I have two other movie night cocos in the, I wanted to try them. They were on clearance for, I can't even remember how much, but it was um, after Christmas clearance and got them for fairly cheap. I think it was like $12, maybe it was 15. Don't, don't quote me on that. And um, it's the two wicks. So I wanted to try it in this different formula that um, Yankee is like their standard candle formula now. I don't know how much longer they'll have their apothecary jars, but I wanted, I've never burned one of these jars before. So I was like, I love this scent. It does smell like the one in the apothecary jar, the single wick is light. The one in these ones is stronger. So I'd say the, apo the apothecary large jar, we'll say the single wick that um, it was light. It was like a four, but these ones are like a six, seven. I call them six and a half. We'll just, we'll go right in the middle. Good candle. Next up we have Iceberry Lemonade. This one was on clearance. I think I got all my candles on clearance from Yankee. The Iceberry Lemonade is like the Yankees version of the Capri Blue Volcano. I feel like I have one in every one of the collections I have. <laughs> 
and I just, I gotta smell it, see what it's like, give it a chance, it was on sale. Next to that is the cranberry chutney, and you know, I wanted, I've never tried it in this version, so I wanna see how well it does with the two wicks. Next to that is one that was just a single little lonely guy sitting there, and I wish I would've known more about it and had more than just the one, but I'm gonna be okay with just the one. This is called Plum Berry Crepe Cone. It's a yummy gourmand candle that Reminds me, maybe it's Yankee's version of Bath & Body Works Berry Waffle Cone, but it has more of a plum note in it instead of like the mixed berry note. It's yummy and on cold, it was good. It's like a seven on cold and I wanna see what it's like burning as far as the throw. So anyway, I'll let you guys know when I do that. Next up, I have my wood wicks. So next to the plum berry crepe cone on top is lavender and cedar and it smells so good. The lavender is not my favorite when it's by itself, but I love it when it's mixed with like a marshmallow or with this cedar note, the cedar note, the woodsy note, it just smells really, really good. It's not too strong. And so like with Woodwick, I love the crackles that it has. So I got that one on clearance at Yankee for like, I want to say it was like eight bucks or something. It was, yeah, it was a good deal. Maybe it was $10 for that. The large jar underneath, I got it from Amazon on Black Friday and it was on sale for 15 bucks because they had it labeled as the wrong candle. It's juniper and spruce. So it was an extremely clearanced markdown candle. It's actually the candle humidor, which is one of my favorite Woodwick candle scents. My husband loves it too. And so I have it in that large cylinder candle and it's got the crossed Woodwick that crackles. And so that one's going to last a long time. I think it burns for like 150 hours. So next to that, um, at Kohl's, um, I found vanilla bean and it is like a gourmand vanilla bean and I've never smelled it in Woodwick. I've been buying Woodwick for like six years now, maybe five years, five years, six years, and I've never had a vanilla bean and it's just so gourmand. It just reminds me it's stronger than the Bath and Body Works vanilla bean. And so I'm really excited to burn that one. I like to burn these in my room with the crackle and it's gonna have that yummy vanilla bean. So my goal is to burn the lavender and cedar with the vanilla bean. Okay, and then on the end here on the top that's green is the Fraser Fir. That is the tree scent that is just like one of the candles that we love to get every year. I like it better than Fresh Balsam from Bath & Body Works. Fresh Balsam is like really strong. This one's just like adds that element when you put it by a table by my Christmas tree. I have an artificial tree. You have the crackling. It just, it gives this ambiance of just like, just comfort and cozy. And you have like the lights dim, just the Christmas lights going and this candle's going and it smells like a real tree and it's just a real, real treat. And underneath that is a candle that I've never had before, but it clearanced at Yankee Candle. It's like their trilogy wood wick. And it's got three of their scents, scents, three of their scents uh, layered on top of each other. So there's crimson berries, which is, which is like a, a holly berry scent. And it's just more of like a deep berry and not too, not too strong. It's good. It, it reminds me of a Christmas type berry scent. And then underneath that, eventually it, as it burns down, it mixes into the Fraser fir and then you get the Fraser fir scent with a little bit of crimson berry and it's just wonderful. And then it ends on a light note because that Fraser fir, it, it's, you don't burn that for very long. You maybe burn it for two hours and then that link, the scent like lingers in your room. So it ends with white teak scent on the bottom, which is the white um, wax. That is, um, kind of leaves you with like, you know, it's like the more after Christmas scent, white teak. So it's it's a good candle. Um, I, I love Woodwick. I just, I don't know why people don't have it more, you know? So anyway, that is my Yankee candle collection. And I just wanted to share it with you. And I will start enjoying some of these scents soon. And I'll do some reviews if you guys want. Let me know down below if you guys have any questions or some input from Yankee Candle or Woodwick. Yeah, let me know. Um, and I will be continuing to do my collection videos, hopefully to get them all out soon. I'm going to end it with my Epic Kringle Candle <laughs> collection. And um, I will thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. If you will, please, it helps out the channel. It's more of a community situation. I just want to, you know, add more to the community. I want to have good conversations. So thank you so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.